What's up, everybody? Welcome to Audio Dungeon's first episode. For those of you that are just joining us and don't really know, Audio Dungeon is a show where we basically tell a story, and it's written by me, and it's played through by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew sitting right here. So let's meet them real fast. I'm Rob Spataro, and I'm playing Arky Fint, a gnomish gunslinger. Hey, guys. My name is Dan, and I'll be playing the character of Hogar, the half-giant ranger. Hey, I'm Scro. I'm playing Botorius Lowbridge, the son of Godin. Hello, I'm Brooke Armstrong, and I am playing a human bard named Abyssia Blackwater. I'm Vinny Pro, and I'm playing the group's halfling thief, Thistle Lightfinger Burr. So many cool names. I'm Tom Kokoza. I'm playing Findalar Lockdown, the elvish wizard. So for those of you that are not familiar with Dungeons & Dragons, this is a game where anything can happen. It's a game where I, the Dungeon Master, created, and the players will go through. They have no idea what's going to happen, if they're going to die, if they're going to become king. They have no idea... What's ahead of them? So, let's get started. We've been preparing for a long time. We're happy to uh, bring this to you guys on our first official episode. So, for everyone just joining, welcome to Audio Dungeon. Yeah! yeah. A world where seven people will play a game like never before. Our story with Tom and Dan. You've been traveling the desert for a very long time, for about two months. You've come from the Elven Forest with your ranger guide, mm -hmm. and you finally have arrived. You're walking through the city, and your mission, as you know it, was to find an artifact that you're to get and bring back to the Elven City. Mm -hmm. The artifact is very important, and this is the first mission that you've been given that you uh, are undertaking for the, the tower. You're a wizard, as we mentioned before. You're a ranger. And once again, it's your mission, and the ranger, Dan, has been hired to protect you. Right. We're finally here at the sunken city. Uh, Hogar, you, uh, you did a good job, I have to say. I, <laughs> appearances are deceiving. <laughs> we did it. Yes, we, we did. And, and I appreciate your help and appreciate the, the guidance and protection along the way. Now we're out of the wilds, we're into the city. This is a little bit more on my area of expertise. So if anything comes along where you feel intimidated, don't worry, I'll take the lead. Uh, uh, but I, I don't get intimidated. Yeah, I know. Give me a hug, Finn. No! Oh! <laughs> that is way too close. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're, Look, we're uh, good friends now. Uh, we, are, we are. We know each other for a couple of months. That is I, as far as I'll go. Uh, but I appreciate the body odor. Where, where, do, where do we go now? Uh, that is a good question. Um, so I believe there... Uh, I believe I should go to the bank? So what you know is that the, uh, the Elven Tower uh, had an artifact created. Mm -hmm. And they commissioned it through the vault. Right. And through the main... To the government uh, in Sunken City. And you know that the vault was taking care of the bank. It is taking care of everything. And they hired on the... Um, um, the master craftsman who's going to be uh, developing this device. All you have to do is come, get the device, yep. and bring it back. That's your entire right. mission. All right. So do I know the... I don't know the name of the master craftsman yet, though. You know his last name is Fint. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for a man named Fint. Uh, I, he's a master craftsman. He must be known somewhere around the town. You so are Fint. No, no, no. I'm Finn. You this guy's Fint. 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 I oh. think that's the last name. Fint is I, I thought we were looking for you the whole time. No, that would be <laughs> that would be a waste of a trip, I would say. Oh. But, uh, but uh, it would be a funny, funny uh, story, I guess. So, no, but no we're we, are, we are looking for Fint. Fint. And okay. I believe that is his last name. Oh, right? okay. All right. And he is a master craftsman, not a wizard, which is what I am. And it's a different kind of a, you know, uh, lifestyle choice. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I look around for a, uh, a guardsman or someone who I feel like looks like they might know, uh, know the town. Someone that I, I, I would see as a person of authority that I can ask for directions. Okay. You look around and you find um, a guard. 
right. Then you can go to him. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you. I am uh, new to the city. I'm looking for a, a craftsman named Fint. Do you happen to know where I, I may go, where he may be? Fint. Um, I believe that's the gnome that's in the center of town. Yes. Okay, uh, and I'm sorry. There's you a workshop right in the center of town. I can oh. show you. Uh, yeah, just point me in the right direction. I don't expect you to leave your post, uh, sir. No, of course not. I can't do that, of course. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, basically, I've just run this map in the, in the dirt for you right now. That's very impressive. I'm very good, actually. <laughs> I w you know, if I wasn't a guard, I would have been a painter. I don't even know how you got all those colors with the one stick. That's really... <laughs> You're very talented. It's simple. It's <laughs> very simple. talented. I guess... Let's go have a drink. I'll tell you how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, later, later. I must find the man fit. So, so anyway, uh, imagine if my finger was this little arrow that, that I could float here. <laughs> so we're standing right about here, right? Right, right. Right? right we've just entered the city, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you look down here, of course, you'll come across okay. the, uh, the vault. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, we're across that the government building. <coughs> and uh, right before that is right here. Oh, okay. Here's yeah. the workshop. All right, so basically if we've, we've passed the vault, we've gone too far. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much, sir. You've been very helpful to us, and I appreciate that. No problem. Okay. Uh, look, we'll, just be, we'll be out of here. He's a nice guy. Yeah. We'll be, we'll be out of here in hopefully no more than an hour. Let's, let's go. All right. I will guide you to Fitz. Thank you. You've <laughs> seen the map, so please lead the way. Very well. Also, you can help break the crowd up, so go right ahead. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we I, 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 walk, I walk right behind him. <laughs> <Let him. laughs> Dan's character, who is an enormous half giant ranger of seven feet tall, <laughs> stands in the middle of the road, <laughs> rolling the reaction of everybody, who immediately they, they part. <laughs> it's exactly like Princess Bride when Andre Dryan goes, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's about much smaller. Than, I'm even smaller and lighter than, uh, the, what's his face? The other guy. He went to you. Yeah, man, he went to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. So you start walking to everybody. You're the only half giant. You notice that the entire city is basically gnomes, dwarves, humans, a couple <laughs> of half elves, and you. There's one half giant. <laughs> you wait for, wait for the people walking down the street, and you make quick way through an enormous crowd of people that normally would have taken you probably about 10 minutes, you do it in about three. You, you never stop being uh, resourceful and useful, I have to say. <laughs> I, I use my brains yeah, and yes. my size. I agree with 50% of that. So. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, all right, so when we get to what looks like it may be uh, the Master Craftsman's abode, to our left, uh, I stop. You walk up to a workshop that you could tell has been in the city for a very, very long time. Oh, this man must be very aged and, and learned. Outside, you see it says uh, Fint's workshop. All right. That says Fint. That indicates that we're in the right place. Mm. Right nearby, there's a dog that's tied up. That people walk by and you see they all like look at him and like he wants to bite them. They're kind of scared of him. All right. Uh, just I'm gonna get on the. Uh, I'm gonna get in between. He'll be in between the dog and I. But a woman laughs when you do that. Uh, hey, hey, look. He <laughs> I, I pet the dog. That might be that dog. <laughs> might be, you know, that could be rabbit. Doggy. You don't know. <laughs> oh. He bites you, accepts you, he accepts you. <laughs> of course he. I, I am very good with animals. I I know I know. You tell me every day, and it's very <laughs> nice. All right, you stay here with the dog. I'm gonna go inside. If oh, I need okay. your help, I'll uh, I'll yell very loudly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 also, I don't know if you can even fit through this doorway. It's like a gnomish kind of a building. So, uh, it, it is it is a normal building because it is made for all people to enter. Okay, so okay. You're not a hobbit. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, you go inside. Yeah. Does it look Does it look intimidating in any way? Does it look like kind of? Uh, no, it's it's busy. There's a couple people coming in and out, but it doesn't look intimidating. Are you going inside as well? You know what? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, no, I stay outside with the dog. Okay, so you stay. You pet the dogs. So people walk by and like look at you. Did pet the dog because you're a huge man. And can I see? Like, is there a window that I can see him through or anything? Yeah. Like that? Okay. Yeah. yeah there is. All right. Okay. And now we're gonna go to Mr. Robert. Ah, uh, Robert Spataro, the man of mystery. As a gnome, <laughs> as a gnome craftsman, you wake up every day to your interesting workshop where you're doing all sorts of things. You're fixing things, you're manufacturing gnomish weaponry, uh, you've done pistols, blunderbuss, 
Uh, you've done mechanical, mechanical items, clocks, all different, different things. You have about two or three people that are knowns that work for you and they usually handle customers. And uh, on this particular morning, it's been pretty busy. Okay? okay. You, you get up at 6 o'clock on the money every day. You spend your day uh, fixing and working around the shop. You get lunch, you work some more, and then you spend all of your nights at Smithy's Tavern. You're very excited because Smithy's Tavern tonight is hosting the, the event that everyone's been waiting for, mm. which is his 50th year <clears throat> in business. They're celebrating the, the anniversary of the business. And supposedly everyone who's ever a big customer or a friend is going to be coming down and uh, visiting and patroning. Uh, patroning? Yeah, yeah we'll patronizing. Acting as patrons. <laughs> mm. Acting as patrons. <laughs> um, coming to the inn tonight in the tavern, and it was, everyone's actually really excited. So um, you go there every night, but tonight's going to be very special, so you're, you've been getting ready. It's, uh, you just came back from lunch, and um, as you walk in, you uh, walk past a giant of a man that's petting a, uh, a, a dog. He's seven feet tall to your around three feet height. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you walk inside. As you walk in, you bump right into a man that looks like a wizard right in front of you, and role play. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I uh, was kind of overwhelmed by all this. Uh, I apologize, so please. Uh, I look, I'm, I'm looking around for someone who works here. Well, welcome, welcome. Oh. What can I do for you? Oh, okay. Well, you, you, you work here? Indeed I do. I am Archie Fit, Master Craftsman. Ah, you are exactly the person I'm looking for. How, how, how lucky is that? Mr. Fint, I, uh, I am a wizard from the Elven uh, Wizard Tower. And I am here to pick up the artifact that you have been uh, building for us. The artifact? Ah. Yes. You are working with the vault. Uh, the vault is working with us, but yes. I see. Well, the artifact <coughs> is complete. That is terrific. All right. So, uh, may I see it? <laughs> of course. Okay. You bring uh, the wizard into the back. And you show him what you made, which is basically um, a rod. You look at it. The rod is made of uh, dwarven steel and has elven wood wrapped around it in a very interesting way. Um, but you notice that while his section is complete, uh, the rod is supposed to have a long, long cylindrical like yellow crystal inside of it. Um, you don't know how it was supposed to be there, who was supposed to supply it, but you're pretty sure that another city that the elves were working with was supposed to have that together, but you only have half of, of right. the item here. Right. So, um, this is, uh, I, I don't mean to insult your craftsmanship, this is, looks like a very fine piece of work, oh, sir. thank you. Uh, it is not complete, however. Where is the crystal that is that is supposed to be in here. Were you... I, uh, oh, well, I do not know about a crystal. I was commissioned to build this uh, container, which I suppose something could be placed inside of it. Okay. But I don't know what that is, but I assure you that this will securely hold anything of an appropriate size. Uh, again, I do not make... Uh, there's, there's a, there just seems to be some sort of confusion here, perhaps, with the meet with whoever commissioned this from you, and they have the other piece, and we can get the whole thing together. Uh, again, I don't. I also don't want you to be left in, with a reputation, like uh, a job half finished, oh, if you will. certainly, certainly. It's, take it to the vault, then. Okay. So I may finish my contract. Okay. Uh, would you mind coming? I don't want to... Again... All right, I think it would be better served if we both went so that they know who you are yes. and they don't think I stole it or anything of that nature. These fellows will watch the store. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Let's, uh, let, let, let us go, let's, then. Let's go. All right. Uh, as we walk out, Hogar, we're going to make a stop at the, the vault, the big place next door. Oh, going to the vault. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Uh, I, I think we might uh, it'd be better served if you were with us. Very good. Okay. All right. Hogar, as you, your ally walks outside, you notice that he is with a three-foot-tall gnomish craftsman. Hello there, gnome. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My uh, name is Hogar. His I, hand wraps over your <laughs> hand twice. <laughs> <laughs> Arky Fint. Oh, you are Fint. Indeed I am. It's very nice to meet you. You, well, are, you are Fint, and he is Fint. Yeah, yes, but Finn is my first name, uh, or my nickname. I'm Findelor Locked On. Uh, that, is, that is my name. This is Finn and Fint and Hogar. 
Yes. We you, make well, we make a good team. He's very enthusiastic, Andy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so let's uh, let's go to the vault. Uh, we need to. We're, there's, there's there's a piece that we are missing from this item, and I believe the vault may have it. So we have to go in there and find out what's going on. Okay. To the vault. That's right. Luckily, it's right over here. So let's. Uh, Okay, you walk from here right over to the next building. You notice that there is a lot of armaments, uh, cannons on top of large walls around three sides of the vault. The vault looks very strong, and it absolutely looks like dwarven craftsmanship. Um, it is by far the most protected thing you've ever seen in your life. There's two large entrances, uh, one on the left, one on the right. You go into the left one, into the closer one. Um, any questions? Not right now. Uh, okay. The three of you walk into the Gnomish Vault. Quiet. Just be quiet. Um, <coughs> you walk into the vault, and you see that there, immediately there are large, um, large pots or cauldrons, one on each side, and there's like a fire coming out of each one. There's a large uh, desk. There's two gnomes sitting at it. It puts the gnomes probably about seven feet tall. And when you walk in, you're like right at the face at the same level as the little gnome. And he's like, mm. and um, <laughs> to, the, to the sides of them is a huge, very complex, looks like a either a, a steel or an iron door or to, your, to your eyes. It looks like it's part of a contraption, like a mechanism needs to open it up. And there's the exact same thing on the other side. There's three dwarves on the left and three dwarves on the right. They're obviously the muscle, and they're just basically sitting there. Uh, two of them have weapons, the rest of, the rest of them just sitting there, arms folded. Okay. Um, so in the background, you hear uh, gnomes calculating things, going over different stuff, and they're doing you know little tasks around the room. Um, you walk up to the lead gnome. You are at the height, and he kind of puts puts his uh, head up, kind of ignores you for a second, maybe perhaps a little intimidated. And he goes, "Oh, hi, Arky. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. I've brought the item I was commissioned to build. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember. Uh, let me just uh, check one thing out. And he goes. Okay, let me just check right here. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, I got it. Uh, so yes, it was a, uh, a a rod. It was, I guess, it was supposed to be magical or anything else. You were just obviously creating the, uh, I guess, the, uh, the container or the uh, actual shaft for the rod. Uh, but we didn't receive the crystal. Are you the your wizard? Yes. I am a wizard. Yes. Uh, okay, I can spot wizards. Any day of the week. <laughs> very, very good eyes, sir. So it's the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, 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 fe good gnomish fellow. Uh, my understanding is I'm I am a wizard from the, the the tower that commissioned this item. Yes, the Forgotten Tower the, in the Elven Kingdom. Yes, that is correct. Yes, uh, I have that right here. Um, but yes, it says um, a crystal should have arrived a long time ago. We would have brought the crystals to you to put into the uh, the device, but um, it was never um, brought in. It was never it was never brought in. Nope. And it should have arrived. Uh, yes, my understanding is that this this, this device should be complete. Uh, so you have no idea where this crystal is. There, there's no record of it ever entering the city. Nope. Nope. Uh, um, I, it was says here that um, about 30 days ago we should have received it from the the Red Knight City. They were supposed to send uh, a delegate, but we've uh, not seen anyone. And no one. Hmm. Okay, this is very troubling to me. Very, very troubling indeed. 30 days, that, I mean, if it was a day or two days, fine, maybe there's delays in travels. I mean, you know, but 30 days, this is not good. Uh, not good at all, not good at all. I need to get word back to to, to the tower that, that, that something is, is, is wrong here. Is there uh We do have ravens uh, across the way, uh, with, but I can, I can do it for you if you want to deliver a message, of course. Yes, uh, please, uh, say... Uh, Finzlar Lofton has arrived in the Sunken City uh, to uh, pick up the device, and the crystal had not has not yet arrived. The device is not complete. Please yes. send further instructions. Okay, so as you're saying, he's writing it down. Okay, and uh, I'll send this out right away. And when, uh, if you'd like to, there are many taverns amongst the city. You can enjoy Smithy's Taverns having a very big celebration tonight. Mm. Um, and uh, perhaps you could rest there, and we'll find you there if... Um, uh, sure. Uh, yes, please find me there if you hear any word about anything. Uh, sure, right away, right away. All right. Uh, this is... Uh, well... Our, our quick journey is now uh, delayed. Sorry, Hogar. I suppose we should drop the rod back at my workshop. 
And then let's go to Smithy's. Okay, it's, it will be safe there? Oh, very safe. I have a secure vault. <laughs> Not as secure as this place. <laughs> he has three gnomes protecting it. <laughs> Maybe we should hello, keep it. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, you know what? I, I trust you. you. You built the thing. You know how to keep it safe. I, I, if you feel that that is the place to keep it, then we will keep it there. Okay, you, um, you take the, the, the rod back to the workshop, and you make your way, uh, if you want to look at, take a look at the screen, <laughs> you make your way this way, and up to here, to Smithy's Tavern. Okay. You pass the guard, you saw before, and he's like, he points down to the painting, the little drink is, <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah, very good. It's good. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. I don't know what I can, what can I say? I don't know. Uh, he's got a skill. The man's got a skill. <laughs> very impressive. <laughs> Some paint with... Paint, I paint with dirt. Me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Skills. It's, uh, it's the shading, really. <laughs> <That's all right>. <laughs> shading. <laughs> so, um, all right. I, I mean, this is uh, obviously not your fault. I'm, I'm amazing. I don't even know what to do. I'm, I'm beside myself right now. I mean, we should be on our way already, and now we're going to have to wait who knows how long to even get word of what we're supposed mm. to do here. I didn't hear anything about a crystal. Maybe we could ask Old Smithy. He knows a lot. Goes around town. Um. Uh, okay. You know the town. I'll, I'll I'll defer to you about things of that nature. But sure. So your group travels uh, across the back to the beginning of the town, and you go to Smithy's Tavern. As you approach Smithy's, Smithy's Tavern, you notice it's a very well kept two story uh, inn and tavern. Okay. Um, it's very nice, and you can see the architecture is from very old, probably back during the, the early days of the sunken city. And uh, once again, it's been very well kept. You can see it's all decorated <coughs> outside, all different sorts of things for 50th anniversary. And uh, already people are starting to like get ready for the night. People are walking by, talking, pointing, getting ready for the night. Um, you guys begin to walk in, and we're gonna hold you up right there. Um, we now go to Scro. All right. Scro, you've been working a long day in the mines. Uh, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> it's an honest day's pay. A mine. That's from Lord of the Rings. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just a little old story. It's true. You've been working. You've been working at the mines for, um, I believe, a few years now. The last month, something happened that you mm. were a part of, which anyone watching this show can go back into one of our other episodes, um, and you will be able to see that story about what happened. <laughs> so in your backstory, you, uh, went on, some of your friends in the mines went on a little adventure, which you know about, and you kept, you kept the happenings of that to yourself because mm. you knew it would be dangerous for yourself. Yeah, those fools. Right. So <laughs> since then, there was, there was a... Um, a cavern, a way to go in the mines that connected to other parts of the underground of the city. Normally you work in the mines in the, in the spot where you're actually mining and no one would go that way, but your friends did, and mm -hmm. they found something that they didn't expect. Um, I... That's from Lord of the Rings also. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stop giving it away! <laughs> <We're ready to> <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! I don't even want to see it anymore! <laughs> um, so, um, after that whole thing, you noticed the behavior around town uh, got a little funny, and immediately they started putting dwarven guards in the mine in a certain spot that led to deeper into the caverns and led more further into the city, and they actually installed like a, uh, uh, like a mechanical door, mm. okay? Similar to the door I described in the other uh, scenario with um, the vaults. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and there's, it's always manned, there's always guards there, and every once in a while, you see that they actually bring um, a cart full of iron, uh, iron ore, up to it, and they ship it off. Then they bring coal, and they ship that all through. And that happens every once in a while. You've actually been promoted in the last month, and instead, instead of uh, just working, uh, working your section, I don't know whatever that's called, in mining, <laughs> um, you clink, <laughs> clink. Whatever, they, whatever they call that, you uh, got promoted and what you, basically what you do is you walk around and monitor and make sure everyone's doing the right thing. Mm, which middle is management. Yes. Yeah. Which if you know score real life, that's perfect <laughs> for Scrum. <laughs> Ooh, you're doing the right thing? Okay. Um, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Okay. Got, got it. 
Four, I'm going to uh, supervise the yes. hell out of those guys. <laughs> Captain Michael <laughs> match. Okay, My so. Eyes hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> I work so hard today. I'm gonna bleep extra. <laughs> so um, you've been you've been doing that. You do pretty good at your job, but you you notice that, that, that a lot of things have been odd. And even before that, it's, it's, there's a lot of things have been odd. I'm a bit concerned. Yeah. So um, anyway, <laughs> you finished up another day uh, in the old mine, and uh, now you make your way. If you look over here, this is the mine. And if you make your way all the way down to the right, you see that Smithy's Tavern is right there. And Smithy's Tavern is the closest and by far your favorite and by far the town's favorite. Mm. You now, you walk up, and as you're walking in, you see a giant man, a wizard, and uh, no one walking to a bar. Mm. You don't see <laughs> that every day. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone can make a funny joke off of that, you will get experience. <laughs> So yeah, you 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 almost Amazing. you almost bump into him. You stop and you see him walking in. And actually, you know what? I don't even think they even see you. You're kind of just talking about something, and you see the wizard seems distressed about something. And the half giant in the back just kind of just walking, just doing whatever he's doing. You wait for him to walk in, and then you walk in. Okay. Um, we're now going to you didn't get to do very much, but that's okay. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the part of Scroll will be Tony. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't have to play it. I lived it. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, to be scrow. It's, it's kind of like my <laughs> usual routine, you know, after work, I go to Smithy's, you know. Tonight's a special night. <laughs> there you go. You got, the, you got the role play. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Scrow did it. <laughs> For your consideration. Scrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brilliant. We're now going to go to um, Rook. Hmm. As the scene changes to the tavern inside Smithy's tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Allow myself <laughs> to introduce myself. myself. Imagine if you could imagine the most unimaginable thing imaginable. So the most unimaginable thing, then. <laughs> <laughs> you are performing in the afternoon. It's uh, lunchtime, and you're on stage, and you are performing one of your usual songs. Uh, you have been in this town for about two, two and a half months right now, and you're doing great. You're making a lot of money, more than you've ever made. And uh, the town's really taken to you. Smithy's been great with you. He gives you a room upstairs that you can stay in. You don't pay for the room. Um, you have some problems with the Thieves Guild. Sometimes mm. they hassle you. They, they demand 10% of your take uh, every, every single month. It's annoying, but you're making enough money where it's... Not a big deal. If that's what you got to do, <clears throat> get by. Um, you travel down here by yourself. You're basically just making your way in, in, in your life since leaving your family in Ravensclaw, uh, just by yourself. And you've been doing okay, but this is the first time you've been successful, and you're you're excited for tonight because tonight at the party you expect to make probably like ten times the amount of tips that you've made before. Mm. Um, you're performing, and uh, you see a bunch of people walk in. You see uh, Scro, uh, Botorius walk in, who's a regular all the time. You've you've seen him many times before. And um, you see a half giant, a wizard, and Archie Fint, who is uh, well, well, not a little well known in the town. Mm. His father had a, had, a, had a shop, and he always gambles at night, so you're used to seeing I've him. I've seen him. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, everyone walks into the bar, and you're playing. Um, everyone else, role play as you're walking to the tavern. This place is great! I like the sunken city. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> that's terrific. All right, hold on, get, get yourself something to drink. Uh, my treat. I'm gonna go sit in the corner and mope. All right. Thank uh, you, Finn. Uh, uh, Finn, you too. Uh, I, here's a, I don't know. Here's a silver piece. That should be enough, I guess. Right. Uh, certainly. I look around if I see Smithy. All right. Uh, uh, you see, Smithy is behind the bar. Yeah, and I, I literally, <coughs> I just go in the corner and, and I, the, the least occupied spot that I can find. Okay. There's a fireplace in the corner. Yeah, just to help dry your tears. That's it. <laughs> I <laughs> failed, failed, and failed. I approach Smithy to speak to him. Okay, you approach uh, Smithy at the bar. Yes. Hi, Oki. How you doing? Good, Smithy. Greetings. What will have you today? Three ales, please. Ah, new friends today, I see. Eh? Yes, look, 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 out of look, towners. I uh, actually wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, this elf over there, he came to town. He's involved with the project uh, that I was commissioned to work on, a device I'm building. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But apparently, 
I was only building part of the final product. The gnomes in the vault said that a crystal was supposed to be brought to town about 30 days ago, but it never arrived. I was wondering if you might have heard any rumors or anything about it. He leans, leans over to you. I just rolled a 15. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tell you some information. That's wonderful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Me and you go back a, a bit. Your father's been in the town for a long time, and I feel close to you. It's important that you don't share the information I'm about to tell you. Of course. You know Bludgy, of course. Mm. I think something happened when that crystal came into town. I heard that the Thieves Guild got their hands on it, and they intercepted it when it came in. <clears throat> and it, I know that because it's literally all he's been talking about. So some <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Bludgy has a big plan. I think he's... I can't do much when he wants to do something because what am I going to do? It's a thieves guild, so I have to do whatever. But uh, yeah. they're, they're, he's taking a room upstairs tonight, and they're doing something up there, some kind of big trade. He's planning to do something to retire and to get out of a sunken city and whatever he's going to do in a rush. But listen, I don't want you to get in trouble with the elves because they can be tough. So I'm letting you know, but do not don't tell anybody I told you. Just keep that between us. And uh, you, know. you have my words, maybe. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're a good guy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Smithy. <laughs> sure, sure. My well, half-giant, you're far from home. Yes, I am. I like your place. You have a very nice tavern, Smithy. Thank you. Thank you. I think you might be the third or fourth half-giant ever to come in. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations on... Fifty wonderful years. Oh, thank you. To Smithy! Hey. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Smithy, can I get an ale down here or what? Yeah, sure. Oh, if, um, here. He, he picks up the ales he brought to Arky and brings them over to you, and he gives you an ale. Hey, thank you. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. He walks away. Role play. You guys sit down at the table by the fire. Oh, this, this, is, this is bad news, right? Yes. What is bad news? What what bad news? What, 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 did he tell you something? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> he doesn't know uh, where the crystal is. Okay. So that is that is just as bad as we were when we walked in. Okay, great. <laughs> why, who is this, why is this guy? Who is this guy that just sat down with us? <laughs> I'm just sitting at the bar. Okay. I'm at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know you yet. <laughs> <laughs> <Broke> conversation. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. So, uh... Yeah. Well, what? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> ho, ho. That's... What, you, oh, he looks confused. <laughs> and that happens a lot. But he looks a particular <laughs> kind of confused. Did you hear something that... I? What, what happened? I... Is... Th what? That's not what, what he said. <laughs> he said something different. He said, I don't remember his exact words, <laughs> but uh, that was the gist of it. Uh, he does not know exactly <laughs> what uh, the whereabouts of any crystal might be. But your buddy he kind of knows. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he kind of... Look, Finn, I, I don't want to put you in any kind of awkward situation if that's what you're afraid of. If it's something that you feel like we can't talk about in a public tavern, I understand. But if there's something that you feel that I should know... I feel we should find a way where you can tell me that information. Because if it is supposed to be secret and subtle, this gentleman is not the person to share it. <laughs> uh, well, no. you're very, you have a very loud voice. The whispering is You difficult. might not know what the word subtle is. <laughs> that means that you're very, you, even when you whisper, <laughs> it's like people scream. It's very, you have a big chest, the throat <laughs> comes out. <laughs> and rah. So, um, but I whisper like this. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> very quiet. Not, not, that's not, quiet. not very quiet. It's quieter than your normal voice. <laughs> right. So, anyway, I don't, I, if, if this is something you should tell me and you should tell me in a certain way or something like that, that's fine. 
But if you shouldn't, and he knows, and I should know, and you don't want to tell me, then I'll just ask him and let me know. So it's up to you uh, what you think is the best thing to do. But uh, if there's information that I should have, please let me have it. I think your best course of action would be to stay here, here. for the remainder of the evening. Perhaps some more information will be made clear to us. What okay. should I die? Uh, whatever the worst response that you would like me to have, that's what I have when I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I roll the one. Oh, oh, first one. God. Everyone, good start. Yeah. 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 Good start. Good start. Good start. Well, the, the good thing is it can't get any worse than this. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right. So, first um, roll of audio. I don't, I don't, under, I don't understand. Wow. You feel he's trying to tell you something. Right. Wow. I'm not. I'm not I don't, Look, I don't want to stay and have a, at a party right now. I'm very upset. I, I, if, just, just if this, if you want to tell me, tell me. If you want to tell me somewhere else, we'll go somewhere else. But let me play. Okay. Don't me along. We're going to uh, take this conversation down for a second. And in walks in uh, Mr. Lightfinger Burr, Vinny Pro's character, whistling. You come in. Comes like Mickey Mouse character. <laughs> Why is everyone happy? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. <laughs> Vin, in the last last month, uh, so you're a thief, obviously. Your father was a famous thief in this town with the Thieves Guild. You did not join the Thieves Guild because, uh, which people can find out in the backstory, um, but because you just didn't agree with what they were doing, you didn't. They didn't want to live that life in a, in a way. But you do want to adventure, and you do want to get out there and maybe make a name for yourself is not under the thumb of Bludgy in the Thieves Guild. Correct. Um, so a lot of times you're small, and you've been making your way around town trying to eavesdrop and see what's going on, and you found out a bit of information that is very exciting to you. Bludgy, apparently, in the Thieves Guild, um, basically had a big caper in the alleyway where they ransacked a wizard from the Red Knight's Fortress, a city nearby. The fortress in a city nearby. And he retrieved some sort of huge rod, like a, like a crystal. Okay? He says something, something about the crystal is powerful, it has a power of like a dragon, and all this kind of stuff. He said he's going to basically he's gonna sell it. He's going to do it tonight at, at, uh, at Smithy's mm-hmm. Tavern. He's going to do it in room three. He arranged it. He has a, is a, he has a merchant lined up that's from Queensland that's coming, coming up here to um, not only celebrate but to do a transaction. And Bludgy is, is going to get out of the sunken city and retire on this. It's so big that you're like, maybe I can get involved. And even if you're not thinking about that because your character is obviously your choice, uh, you know that there will be a lot of money in hands at this party and there will be a lot of money in hands in that room. Okay, so um, you're having a good day because you're. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the whistle. It's gonna be a feast. <laughs> so back to the Mickey Mouse whis- whistle. <laughs> Hi, Bob. <Bartender>. <laughs> uh, you walk in and you see Abyssia, the bard who's playing, and she sees you. She nods, and uh, you make your way to the. Uh, to the, the barkeep, Smithy. Right to the bar. And you see um, there's a wizard and a half giant. As you sit there, you order a drink. Uh, what will it be, life figure? Uh, Smithy, one ale, please. So, uh, do you have the money to pay for this time? Um, you know what? I'll be right back. Let me let me go get that. <laughs> get it ready. I'll be right back. <sighs> I make my way over towards Abyssia. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the, the halfling life figure makes his way over to you. I, I, in the middle, middle of your performing. You're not singing right now. You're no. just playing. I wait for her. To fi- I just wait for her to like finish. So I don't interrupt the songs. I don't want to. Hey, as you can hear, it's still going. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be playing here a while. This. So what do you want? Oh, um, she stops. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping I'm, I could maybe maybe bum a coin or two off you as I get a drink. Oh, I see. She starts starts playing again. <laughs> 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 that was a like, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just wait here while you uh, while, you, while, while you're done when you're done, and I kind of just Did you take one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so they're coming a mile away. <laughs> Roll d twenty. A f- eleven. <laughs> and eleven. Is eleven total? Total. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, you, you, see, you, see, you look away, stop playing. You see his little. Hand. Yeah, I know. I know he's gonna it's take going. it anyway. It's nice that he at least tells me. Or asks. You, you take it. You think you're slick. You look up. And she's just like. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Even if you didn't see him, you knew he was gonna do. It. I just know it. Yeah. I think it's polite of him to tell me that he needs something. Actually. Though. Okay, so you um, take it back to the barkeep. Smithy, make that two. <laughs> yes. I made sure he took enough for two. Okay, you show him the coins, and he goes, ah, okay. Make sure you drink. You're sitting there, take a drink, you look around. Again, you're having a great day. You're really excited. You look next to you about three, uh, three stools away, and you see uh, Botorius sitting there, and he's enjoying the, uh, the uh, music of Abyssia. Good afternoon, Botorius. Yeah, hey, how are you moment. doing? <laughs> and I just kind of sit around. <laughs> and apparently and you're close friends. <laughs> 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 well, you know each other from town. I mean, obviously we know each other from here. You're bar buddies. <laughs> um, I kind of just sit in the bar, like taking in the sights and seeing like who might be the mark for the night. So the interesting, the first thing you, you spy is a wizard. And we across the room. And he, looks, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like this, and you know wizards have magical things on them, and that's very I exciting do. to you. It is very exciting. Um, you also see next to him, which is a little bit, a little discouraging, is a giant man. And uh, he is right next to him, and he's about seven feet tall. You can tell that, even though he's sitting down, slouched over. He's still triple your size, sitting down on the chair. And you see Arky Fint, who you know from the town. Um, you don't have much relationship with him, a little bit. Uh, I, I, from the backstories that we've done, you know him a little bit. Um, and they're just sitting down talking, and he, like I said, the wizard seems to be upset. Okay, so I, I, his mind looks like it's in someplace else, and mm -hmm. like it's not here. All right, so right now I kind of put my sights on him and see like where this is going to go. Uh, I want to keep an eye on his half giant buddy and just keep an eye on him. Not going to do anything yet. Okay. So um, you keep an eye on things. Um, after about 10 minutes, you finish your set and uh, there's another someone moves something. <laughs> <laughs> They click, they click the buzz. It means your time's done. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Wait, one more. There's no, there's, there's no, no you're done. Ow. There's no electronic lights yet. We can't yes. tell you green light, red light. We haven't no. invented it yet. Some guy takes a lantern. Can't do the flashlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> one day, let will make this easier. Uh, one day. You finish your set. Another uh, guy is performing while you keep the music going, and you okay, come on cool. off, and you see... <clears throat> um, your friend Life Finger is sitting at the bar with an ale that you paid for, <coughs> and uh, uh, I'm one waiting Bot for you, Botorius. <laughs> As usual. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll play the three of you. Botorius. Hi, how you doing? Nice Sounded to see good you out tonight. tonight. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yes, yes. Very. The song was very good today. Oh, very, thank very you good. so much. Uh, this is mine, right? Yes, that is yours. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dear, really. Anything I could do for you? Couldn't miss tonight with the special uh, celebration. Looks like we got some interesting visitors from out of town. I noticed that. Mm. You know, I thought it was just like the sun going out, but it was an extremely large man blocking the doorway, and it was nice to see a little change in here, though. I'm uh, curious to see who else is going to show up tonight. Just as you say that, mm -hmm. the, you hear uh, a wagon pull up. You hear horses. <laughs> that was pretty good, right? <laughs> 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 Before I did, I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but I just went for it. <laughs> um... The wagon rolls up, and you're like, like, okay, okay, come on, let's get this done. And you see, you're, and, you're, and you see a heavy, big dwarf come in. He has elaborate robes on. He has a ring on every single finger. And uh, he's like, he's like, go ahead, walk around the back. I'm going to go inside and get a drink. He walks inside, walks up. He's probably about um, four and a half feet tall. Again, portly and very rich, obviously. Walks up to the barkeep. And he goes, oh, uh, yeah, uh... Excuse me, excuse me. I didn't know. Uh, I'm gonna sit over here. Uh, give me some wine. Uh, give me everything you got. Uh, the best of everything. Whatever you got, just bring it over to the table. Whoa. Spence's like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Um, no problem. No problem. He goes over sits at the bar. He takes all the chairs. He moves the chairs away, and he just makes it so it's just him sitting at the chair at the Check table. He just sits there, and he goes, <laughs> just getting ready, sitting by himself. Role play. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> This night's definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> you said it. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wonder who that is. Oh. I jump off the stool. <laughs> I know you're going to find out. I just kind of like mosey on over. I don't really get close to him. I just kind of stop milling around where he is. And okay. The three of you uh, see the same thing happen. Role play. 
you know, it's amazing how you can immediately dislike someone, isn't it? I, I, he, I, I, they just seem very nice. I, no, no, no. It, it, it seems like he has all the worst characteristics of, you know, everyone. Very, very pushy. <laughs> <laughs> Smithy, do you know him? You're not near Smithy at all. <laughs> you you <laughs> said that. <laughs> Smithy is clear across the bar. I know he can, he can like, probably hear you. He's but. whispering, yeah. It's like, <laughs> 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 Smithy actually hears something. Is there anything notable about his <clears throat> robes or attire that would t- you, you, give you him can, away? You can tell because you live in a town, you know people's fashion, just because you've seen so many things, um, that he is from Queensland. Hmm. He wears the attire of a Queensland no. resident, but... I do not know who he is. You hear this be- a little bit because you're kind of mulling around. You can hear all the conversations. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I just kind of... <laughs> a halfling nearby goes, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, you see your door open, and you see um, the, people, the people who live in this town, one, two, three, four, you, um, you notice this is to be uh, Bludgy's like, number two guy. Okay? And uh, I'm going to let you guys name him right now. because Give me a name. Uh, Shance. Shance. <laughs> you let him know what Shance it is. Uh, on, the, on the off chance that this guy comes into the bar, he gets the a lot. Chances are. <laughs> I said the same thing. Father, can you hear me? This is not a little bit. I can't even. For all the metal heads. Okay. So uh, he walks in. He's got a toothpick. He's just sitting there. Looks around. Looks over. Looks, looks over. You guys basically all see him, and you guys know it's him. He looks at you guys, and he goes. He will walk backwards and steps out of the bar. What was that? Mm. Well, is he either he doesn't like half giants or he doesn't now, even be, know me. Now between right. between the <laughs> moments, my point. Now between the moments that you got here, and even now, and even at this guy. People start walking in just in drabs. Twos right. and threes, ins and out, like that. But it is starting to fill up a little bit. I, do I catch that with him, like, moseying out backwards as well? Yeah, you, you're, okay. you're literally like the radar in this room. You're looking for everything. <laughs> so. Well, you know what that guy was? What, what's the deal? He clearly gave one of us the stink eye. And it was, I don't know, it could be you, it could be me, it could be him. I, I, mean, I doubt it was me. I've seen him around town for many years, and he's never done something like that. But I can tell you he's a man of somewhat ill repute. Let's just say he doesn't say, make an honest living. <laughs> <laughs> He's a member of the Thieves Guild. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Why would he? Why would he care about us? We don't even. You see, you actually see him come to the window, walk by, like trying to be like nonchalant. It's just like. <laughs> it keeps going, and then he, then he comes back in, and you see it with another guy. He's like. And the guy's like, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst thieves guild I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 I think we I think, I think <laughs> know why you don't want to be a part of them. I think, that's, I think we were clear about why you wanted to work solo. When there's a co- incompetence at the top, you know, <laughs> the bottom ain't too good either. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> what is going on? They might know something about that crystal. Time passes. You guys trying to figure out what's going on. You're sitting in the bar. You're taking a break. You're you're moseying around the room, and uh, you're just drinking. Having a drink. You're having a drink. You have to drink. You have to drink. <laughs> uh, the bar starts to fill in, and it gets up to about five o'clock. It's dinner time, and now it's getting to the point where it is completely packed. Thank God you have a table early. You feel very lucky. All of a sudden, you see some guy come in, and he and he kind of sticks his head, and he goes, he goes, oh, he goes, oh, uh, uh, hey, uh, they have uh, an amazing sale outside on Barbarian Furs, you know. And if any anybody's looking for something like that, you know, you should go out there, and uh, you know, they're they're amazing. And he runs back outside. John, are there a lot of barbarians around here? Not too many. I bet these mooks think that you're a barbarian because you're so big. And they're trying to get you to go out there so they can, like, thieve you up. 
There's a guy's back. He goes, sail on large clubs. <laughs> sail on large clubs. You're up. <laughs> screw it. Screw it. Screw it. excited. <laughs> Perhaps I could use a large club. I, ho- I hold up my club. <laughs> I have a great club. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. In the next, next couple of minutes, some guy goes, uh, 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 unusually large armor outside. Someone just dropped on the floor. <laughs> Who's going to take it? It's too big for me. <laughs> Does anybody end up coming anywhere near this uh, the guy from Queensland at all by any chance? Is he sitting still no, by himself? He, he does have servants. The servants come over and constantly help out, and they help the servers give him his food. He sits there and he's eating a lot of food, just chilling out. But is he like is he isolated? Are other people sitting at his table? No, he, he moved all the chairs away. So, so it's just, just him. him by himself. And if, if the servants come near him, they just kind of sit there and stand behind him and wait. So you guys. Um just sit in the bar, just waiting around. The, obviously, the thieves' field, or some people are doing something unusual to get your attention. Right. And all of a sudden, you hear uh, Smithy kind of uh, silence everyone down. And he goes, uh, Everyone, I just want to uh, make a quick announcement if I can get your attention. Everyone, quiet down, quiet down. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, so everyone, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for coming. I know we have so many people that have yet to arrive. We haven't really begun the festivities. Uh, but for those of you that are down to, uh, if you're here for dinner, I appreciate you coming down early. And uh, I just want you to know that I have a great relationship with every one of my customers. And it's so good to see uh, old faces or some new faces. So uh, I hope tonight is a, a day we'll always remember forever. It's 50 years. And, uh, you know, I'm just so excited for the future. And I'm I'm sure it's going to be great for all of us, and I'm excited to share with all of you. So, uh, a drink around for everybody. Yeah! 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 To Smithy! To Smithy! Yeah. 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 He's the best! Huzzah! <laughs> We're just getting into the evening for uh, the night's activities. The celebration is about to begin, <laughs> and we're going to stop right here. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> we all survived the first story. <laughs> we made it. Right. Damien barely survived. <laughs> I almost got alcohol poisoning. <laughs> you roll what a it. way to go. What a way to go. That's uh, too early in the day. <laughs> yeah. It turns into leaving Las there, Vegas. There was, there was no real chance of that yet. Yeah.